Can I build an app that detects AI deepfakes in under an hour? It's getting impossible to tell what's real anymore online, and every picture I see now comes with this tiny silent question in my head, is it real or is it AI? That bothers me, so I wanted to see if I could build something that could help with that. But I don't have a lot of time, and I don't really write hard lines of code. That's when a company called Emergent AI reached out with a challenge. Build a working web app in under an hour using our platform, and we'll sponsor you to do it. Emergent has quickly become one of the fastest growing AI startups worldwide. In just three months, more than 2 million builders have used it to create over two and a half million apps. How it works is instead of writing code line by line, you can just describe what you want in natural language. The features, the flow, the technical specs, and Emergence AI agents builds the full stack for you. Now, I've built enough software to know how crazy that sounds. Normally, you need engineers, designers, database people, DevOps, and weeks of coordination just to get the login screen working properly. I was skeptical, but I also couldn't resist because if this thing could actually build something even reasonably good and actually worked, that would change how I would think about building entirely. So I took the challenge. Now, when you're building something like this in a platform like Emergent, the first prompt is everything. It's the blueprint, the DNA of your entire app. There's research that even shows every layer of conversation with a model gets slightly weaker the deeper you go. The context fades, the logic drifts, so if you want a system that actually works, you need to front load the intelligence as much as you can and make the first prompt bulletproof because everything after that kind of depends on it. So before I ever hit build, I thought long and hard about that prompt. I broke it into sections, the same way I would if I were handing it to a dev team, and each part was written to teach Emergent how to think like a full stack engineering team. My first section started with the mission, with everything the app needed to be and do. Build a production ready web app called Real Fake AI, logged in users, paste a text headline or upload an image, and the app uses AI to decide AI, human, or mixed signals, returning a confidence score and a short firm forensic explanation. That paragraph told Emergent the mission, the structure, and the reasoning behind it. Not just what to build, but why. And I knew I'd actually have a chance if I got this first part right. The rest of this really long prompt focused on logistics. The second section was authentication. I knew I wanted a real login, not just a dummy front end. So I told it, Make sure to have secure email and password sign up, log out, HTTPS only session cookies, hash passwords, rate limiting, all of the normal stuff. I just wanted to be safe. Section three instructed how I wanted the data to look like. I decided two tables, users and analysis. Users stored emails and timestamps, analysis stored each submission what they uploaded, the verdict, confidence, and the explanation. Section four focused on the actual user workflow of how users should move through the app because I didn't want Emergent to make any assumptions. Writing it as steps helps Emergent understand the full user journey and help to guarantee it'll build the flow that solves the problem I'm trying to tackle. The next section was all about the backend logic. I wanted to make sure the data came back clean and structured. Validate and sanitize inputs, then call Claude using a system prompt that framed it as a forensic AI analyst returning it back in strict JSON format. But I'll be honest, we're going to have to come back to this section because while this prompt worked, it wasn't enough. Section six focused on the UI and design. I didn't want it to look like every AI app, white background, rounded buttons, Boring. I really wanted this nostalgic vibe, like 90s analog tech, because the theme of this project is that we're losing the line between reality and AI. And the last section was just a miscellaneous brain dump to help with performance, all the small things that make it feel like a real product, not a weekend experiment. When I hit build, the first generation honestly blew my socks off. It took about 10 minutes and it was about 80% there, which is insane for one prompt. It logged in, the upload worked, and even called Claude correctly. The whole app functioned end to end. But pretty quickly, I noticed the problem. The analysis results were inconsistent. Sometimes it nailed it, other times it completely missed the nuance. An image of someone with smooth skin or cinematic lighting would get flagged as AI, even though it was just a real photo touched up with a filter. It clicked for me. This wasn't 
just a technical problem, it was a judgment problem. Claude was being inconsistent because my system prompt hadn't told it how to grade fairly. So I went back to that section five and rebuilt the entire section from scratch. I added what I called a forensic grading schema, basically a rule book for better judgment. And it listed all of these rules for the model on what not to flag as AI. For example, things like skin smoothing, color grading, portrait mode blur shouldn't count. Then I gave it classic clues to look for when it was AI. Reflections, texture, geometry, and metadata. Basically how a human expert would reason about a photo. And I think this is a super valuable lesson a lot of people don't want to admit because they expect AI to be magic, which it kind of is in some ways, but you still have to really think through it. If you're not getting the results you want, a lot of times it can be fixed in this way. It did take a few tries and another 20 minutes. Now it's time for the real final test. I lined up three images, one completely AI generated, one real photo, and one that had been AI enhanced as a way to trick it. Welcome to Real Fake AI, the app I built with Emergent. First I'll go through normal authentication. The app is loading. And here is my little app to scan if the image is real or AI. All right, first test, we're gonna give it a real photo, not touched up. I can add a little bit of context here. If let's say you met somebody on Tinder and you just wanted to see if it was a real person, you can add it here. We're gonna go ahead and initiate the scan. All right, it correctly identified with a 92% confidence score that I was human. And the forensic analysis is really interesting. It says that this appears to be an authentic human based on multiple natural indicators, skin texture, visible natural skin texture with pores, slight blemishes, thanks AI. I have facial asymmetries. The image quality is like a smartphone. So it did good. All right, second round, we are doing a fully AI image of the new AI actress. All right, with an 88% confidence score, it correctly flagged that it was AI generated. Multiple strong AI indicators, unnaturally smooth skin with no pore visibility, overly perfect facial symmetry, just really interested things. So it was actually able to identify that this was AI generated. And we're gonna do one more. I'm going to try to trick it with a third image that was AI enhanced. So I did a little bit of light retouching. Let's see what it does. 85% confidence score, got it correct. Hybrid slash AI enhanced. This appears to be a real person with significant AI enhancement. It wasn't significant, but it, you know, it existed. So it did good. It correctly identified the human image, the fully AI generated image, and that my third image, which was meant to trick it, was a hybrid AI enhanced. So not bad. Now, when I started this, I didn't think it would be possible to build something like this in under an hour, but somehow I did. The first version got me about 80% there. The rest was refinement, tightening the prompts, defining rules, tweaking UI, but honestly, that is software engineering in general. It's never one and done. It's always tweaking as you go, testing, debugging, learning where the edge cases are that you forgot about, like I did, forgetting to give it a way to grade the images. The difference is that here, I wasn't waiting weeks for developers to do another round of hard code changes. I was refactoring myself just through prompts. And it wasn't just a front-end app or website, it built auth, database, backend, front-end, AI reasoning, all of it together. Now, I wouldn't deploy this straight to production without a senior engineer taking a look over it. So if you have no experience with software, have fun, but be cautious. But the fact that I could get this far in under an hour is crazy to me. If you want to see how far you can push it yourself, I'll drop the link to Emergent below. Really huge thanks to them for sponsoring this build and for letting me test just how far this new way of coding can go. And I'm curious, what would you build if you could spin up an entire app in an hour?